Welcome to Picking Principles. Today I've got your standard school lock. This is a Dudley and um, what you may not know is that a lot of them have a key at the back which I happen to have for this particular model and I don't know the history of course of these locks companies. This is American, very similar, same hardened shackle, a little bit bigger body, same tiny, tiny, tiny little keyway with the same tiny little key. So I'll put that in, the lock falls open. So we've all seen shim attacks on these, we know they're susceptible to that, um, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone try to pick one. So I'm going to give that a try. Not a lot of space. I'm going to have to use this tiny little bit right here. And let's see what I can do. It's hard to get a grip. Not a lot to see. I'll try and find these tiny little pins. Probably why you don't see people try to pick them. Oh, I felt some movement there. Oh, there was a click. Not sure if that was three or four. Oh, it was three because there's a click out of four. I'm, I'm all the way up for one. Like it barely moved, of course, but. I'm all the way in and I never did hear a click. The same with two, that was just, that click you heard was my pick slipping off of the tensioning tool. Two all the way up as well. One and two with nothing. Three I set with the click and four I set with the click. So let me see if I can drop. Hmm, or a little click, I don't know if that was enough. There we go. Drop it and got the lock. It's a sealed body, so I can't open it. So there you go. Shim attacks. Um, I've seen those combination um, attacks on YouTube, but I've never been able to figure that out. And now a pick attack. Thank you for watching Picking Principles. Please subscribe if you've liked what you've seen, and please leave comments, questions, or suggestions. Have a nice day.